18th century at the end of that period, si Pio Icasiang, Pius IX, commissioned a great artist to portray the painting of the history of salvation, the work of salvation. Halfway through, nagbisita siya o iagit examine kanang obra maestra. And so he scrutinized it very well, up and down, left to right, and then nahibulong siya kay kaanindot kayo na ang Holy Trinity, naapod si Mama Mary, may mga background pa nga kaanindot nga scenery, pero may usa siya ka, gipangita nga wala dito. Ingon niya sa artist, Asa si San Jose. Ang tubag sa artist, uh, Your Holiness, we will put him to the side at the back. Don't worry. Then spontaneously, Pius the Ninth said, "No. Put Joseph at the side of Mary, because salvation history is never complete without Saint Joseph." Brothers and sisters, moved by the Holy Spirit, in 1872. Pope Pius IX declared St. Joseph as the patron, the universal patron of the universal church. And again, moving from the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, our beloved Pope Francis declared this year as the year of Joseph, 150 years ago when Pius IX declared that St. Joseph is our patron. Mga hindi gugmang igsoon kang Kristo. Kining tendency to be at the sidelines, to be forgotten at the peripheries. Mao kini ang normal or usual nga tendency when people look at the role of Joseph. In fact, in the scriptures today, you will notice this was really the point of offense that people used against Jesus. I'll explain to you why. Nagpauli si Kristo dito sa ilang lugar. Nagtudlo sa sinagoga o sila nahibulong kaayo sa iya kaalam. Nadunggan po nila na nagbilagro siya in other places prior to going there. Karon. Unsa ang reaksyon sa mga kasilingan, townmates sa ato ang ginoo? Ang ending, gisalikway nila siya. Sa Ingles, very interesting, they took offense at him. Medyo lisod i-translate sa Cebuano. Pero kanang bitaw nga, dili kontento, tinimbang, pero kulang, so do na insulto sila ug dili sila magtuo kang Kristo. Ngano man una ang iyahang edukasyon. Dili gikan sa formal rabbinical school. You know to teach in the synagogue, dapat nagtuon ka sa Torah under a great teacher and normally under a rabbinical tradition or school. Jesus did not have that formal religious training. He grew up trained informally, quote-unquote, by Mary and schooled by the normal and ordinary wisdom of Saint Joseph. But here's the biggest reason. Dili ba anak lang siya sang usa kapanday Laong kaayo ang implikasyon sa kining pangutana. It carries the weight of tinimbang ka, pero kulang. Do si Fernando po, junior, no? tinimbang ka, pero kulang. Sa rason, nga naman, wala ka koneksyon. Ang imuhang pamilya, dili di buena pamilya. O ang imuhang background, pobre kaayo. Panday lang ang imuhang amahan. 
Now, ang panday is actually a generic translation of tecton. And tecton in Greek actually is more amplified in understanding, meaning an artisan, a man who works with his bare hands. So, possibly, magbuhat bilang panday sa furniture, pwede pod mason. Pwede pod hired ordinary labor who every day has to look for food for his family. This is very important to understand because Joseph is a tecton. Sa atuha ang translation, gigamit ato panday. Pariyo man sa aong parokya na may panday, pero kabalo man siya mag-plumbing, mag-kurinti, o uban pa, no? Do all around nga handyman. Mauna ang pinakaduol when we say tecton. And mao kini, ordinaryo nga tecton o trabahador ang imo ang amahan. Na unsa naman, na mamati, umaminaw, umagtuomi, panday lang ang tatay mo. Unsa man ang imo ang ibarug-barug biha sa tunga sa sinagoga, aron sa pagsangyaw, sa pagtudlo, mao kini nga nalisdan sila dawat kaniya, mao kini nga ang ending gisalikway nila siya. Sa kaha kapait, Anong pauli ka sa imong town? O ang imuhang masinati, mao ang rejection. Based on your background, because ang imong amahan, pantay lang. Mao kini nga wala milagro nga naitabo dito, tungod wala sila nagtuo. Magahirigog mga iksuon kang Kristo, anak ka lang sa panday. Maiyong ko panday, basta kina-imagine nyo si Coco Martin, no? Pero kaya nang panday, bitaw ka ordinaryo, simple, trabahador. Pero sa dako nga plano sa kaluwasan sa kay Jose, gitugyan sa mahal nga Diyos, si Jesus. And this was highlighted by the choice of Pius IX. Mga hinigong mga isuon kang Kristo, unsa ang allergic reaction naton? sa ordinaryo. Kay kung ordinaryo, mas ganahan man ta sa special. Kung may siupaw, may special, kag ordinaryo, do mas lami itong special. Kung batsoy, ng ordinaryo, mas lami itong special na batsoy. Kaya may atay pa, makauban. Pero mga hinigugma, unsa ang teaching ni Pope Francis in Patris Corde, There is something beautiful in the ordinary that is often overlooked. People who do not appear in a newspaper or magazine headlines or on the latest television shows, yet in these very days are surely shaping the decisive events of our history. Kaanindot ang sensitivity ni Pope Francis, doctors and nurses, storekeepers and supermarket workers, cleaning personnel, caregivers, transport workers, men and women working to provide essential services, and public safety, volunteers, priests, men and women religious, and so very many others nga ato ang kitawag na frontliners. They understood that no one is saved alone. How many people daily exercise patience and offer hope? Often, we associate holiness with great achievements. Pinukining daily exercise of patience and hope. Taking care not to spread panic, but shared responsibility. How many fathers, ah, sa mga maahan nga naatinhi, mothers, oh, karon grandparents, kaanindot, no, si Pope Francis has instituted that by July, na ay Grandparents' Day and teachers are showing our children in small and every ways how to accept and deal with the crisis by adjusting their routines, looking ahead and encouraging the practice of prayer. It is then, brothers and sisters, at this point that he now brings our attention to St. Joseph. Each of us can discover in Joseph The man who goes unnoticed, a daily, discreet, and hidden presence 
Ganaan ko kinikayo, hidden presence. Wala bitaw daga grab sang lamlight or spotlight o naga pa, you know, celebrity effect. Hilom lang, discreet. An intercessor, a support, and a guide in times of trouble. St. Joseph reminds us that those who appear hidden or in the shadows can play an incomparable role in the history of salvation. This is from Patris Corde. That is why Pius IX was truly inspired by the Holy Spirit and this has now been reignited by Pope Francis to really place Joseph at the center of salvation history and for us to look at him as intercessor, support, and guide, especially during pandemic. Mga hindi ko man ay duwa ka karakteristik ang usaka tekton o usaka panday. Number one, I remember Scott Peck. For those who are grown up with me in the late 80s, The Road Less Traveled became a masterpiece. And it's really worth reading. He gave a description of love. Dili romantic o poetic. Please listen to this. He said, Love is extending yourself to work for the welfare of your significant other. I'm going to highlight there, extending oneself to work. Now, if you like a more religious reference, Mother Teresa would say, service or work is the translation of love. So when you say, I love you, be ready to work. That's why it's a wedding, you say, yes, I do. Dili lang, yes, I said so. But yes, I will do it. That's why Mother Teresa would go down the canals to pick up the sick and the dying and care for them. Because loving Christ is serving and ministering to the poor. Ang usa ka panday, ang iyahang lingwahe sa pagigugma, mao ang work. Blood and sweat goes in every furniture. Blood and sweat and sacrifice is the foundation sa normal o ordinaryo ng trabahador. I really have deep respect for those who work with their hands because in a process of really in a hidden manner, they do this for love of their families. So John would say, you know, it's a, a lie to say that I love you yet you hate your neighbor and then you also do not do something good for that neighbor. Magayinigong bang egsuon kan Kristo, the first characteristic of a tecton is work in the name of love. I want you to imagine how the little boy Jesus grew up with the instruments of carpentry. I saw that beautiful picture of a young boy Jesus na ay hammer, nails, o kahoy. And can you imagine later on when he would be nailed to the cross? The same instruments that were familiar to him. Of course, from the side of the Romans, he was brutally being killed. But from the side of Jesus, he must have recalled that these were the instruments of love showed to him by his Father. And therein, in the name of sacrificial love, he transformed that instrument of pain to be the channel of redeeming love for you and for me. St. Joseph played a key role there. He would have not been entrusted by God if not to learn at least the basic of love manifested by hard work. So show me a person who works very hard and I'll show you a loving heart. Pero pagtapulan, pagpuro lang drawing, I love you, pero wala man gagiw, wala galihok. So kana ang love, dili siya kompleto o fully genuine. St. Joseph, the worker, is St. Joseph, the lover. 
Kita niyo ang connection? This is where hard work becomes validation for true love. And Jesus learned true love from a simple, ordinary tecton named Joseph. Number two, dua lang eh, ni Kapuntos, no? Para dili umatulugan. <laughs> Humble perseverance. Kung sa matungan, sa shuttle ganag landing sa moon recently, thank you, fathers. Perseverance. Unsa ang karakteristik na distinctive sa Musa Kapanday? Repeated na pag kinang sapiyo, sapiyo man na sa Sibuano? Ano yung kinasapiyo ito? Sapilya. Oh. Sipilya. Well, thank you, fathers. <laughs> kini joint homily kini, no? Joint homily. Uh, dinihila ni sa tabunok. No? <laughs> so, okay na ang Pagpanday, hindi lang kausa. You have to repeat it several times. Usahay may ego pang imong tudlo, no? Kanang bitaw pag measure, ha? importante ka na kaayo. Kay pag dili, sakto ang measure, base ang tiil sa taas na sa lamisa o uh, uh, bako-bako ang furniture at the end of the day. What is the distinctive feature? Makita mo ang kamot ka ng panday na ay kalyo, na ay samad. And then, it's very hard, kaayo. Nga no man, it's familiar with repeated labor. Humble, repeated labor. One characteristic necessary to finish a masterpiece is patience, humble perseverance. You cannot produce a good work kung wala patience o humble perseverance. Even for us, we can learn from this. And Jesus learned. Have you ever thought how the Lord Jesus was very patient with people? He must have learned this from St. Joseph, his father. We are not inventing this out of speculation. We are saying that in Luke, after the loss and finding of Jesus, Jesus went home with Mary and Joseph and became obedient, meaning, the formators of Jesus was Mary and Joseph. And he grew up in age and stature. Sapientia et etate. He grew up in wisdom and age because he went home and he was obedient to Joseph and Mary. Kining hidden years, if you ask me, I call them formative years. So for the seminarians who are here, Kamugina pantay sa formation. This is your hidden years before you will be sent out for mission. So to conclude our homily, mga hinigugmang igsoon kang Kristo, the genius of the plan of God is that He was entrusted to Joseph. Karong atuhang piyesta, we will do the act of consecration unya. Nagkaadindot nga na atin hi si Mayor Kikaginang sa buntag, we did also the act of consecration sa Mandawe with uh, Mayor Jonas Cortez and Congresswoman Lollipop. And so the whole spiritual community and the civil community, consecration ingon ni Bishop Tony Raniola, and I'm quoting him, Indot Kayo, is entrusting oneself to Joseph and ultimately to God. So, lito na po, ultimately, it's really to God, but entrusting ourselves to St. Joseph. Unya, mahangyo lang ko, while we do the consecration prayer, imagine yourself holding the hand of St. Joseph. You entrust your hand to hold on to him. O ka nang kaanindot nga himno, nga ang iyang hilong, nga tunog, Pagasundon ko kanang composition ni Father Rudy Villanueva, Monsignor Villanueva, we will follow ang yam footsteps. So, muingon kita, anak ka lang sa panday, dili mi magtuo sa imuha, maunang reaksyon sa mga tao kang Kristo. Karon, seeing it from the perspective of the history of salvation and from the wisdom of God, we see how brilliant the plan of God is 
na si Kristo anak sang usa ka panday because he learned that love is hard work and humble perseverance is important in ministry when we do this kita din hi sa tabunok hinaut unta will truly become true blooded Josefinos ug Josefinas mga anak man sang panday nga si Senyor San Jose katulad ni Kristo na atuhang ginawon so help us God paliyog manindog